I were friends back when he first created the rubber guard, back when uh, he originally, it was just a few moves. It was the meat hook, and there was a bunch of other moves that uh, actually worked with the gi, you know, uh, different things that he invented. Um, and it was all just him being creative because of the fact that he was a little guy, and, uh, you know, he was always getting overwhelmed by bigger, heavier guys, and, you know, he has a lot of flexibility, and he developed that flexibility even more by practicing all this rubber guard. But it's interesting to have seen it evolve, seen it change and grow, and all under his innovation, and then see it blossoming other places. But what's fascinating is, for whatever reason, people don't want to give him credit for it. That's the weirdest thing about it. So we're here, we break him down. Remember, if he's trying to back out, this is a leg curl. Your leg doesn't necessarily have to be on his hip the whole time. If he's trying to stack you, yeah, you need that. That's your only thing. But if he's trying to back out, bam, or if he's trying to posture up, you're going to crack him. Defend your arms, guys! Defend your arms 100 percent The rubber guard that you see in the UFC now, where guys are going to mission control and they're holding a fighting place. All that stuff is from, from Eddie. He invented all that. The 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu is so different from regular Jiu Jitsu. There's so many added improvements and so many variations and so many positions and all the different names. It's literally like a, a, a separate branch. Like it's gone in a certain direction, completely designed for no gi Jiu Jitsu. Completely designed where no handles, no sleeves. Everything is underhooks, overhooks, double underhooks, gable grips. Everything is uh, in a, a, a manner that you can use it effectively in MMA. No one has put it into a system, you know, an organized system the way Eddie has. That's a fact. It's his system. Stop hating. So what the hell are we doing here, Brian? What's going on? We are going to learn some awesome new jiu-jitsu from the man, the myth, and the legend, Eddie Bravo. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, we're here in Yuma, Arizona, 10th Planet Yuma. Um, tell me a little bit about how you got involved with 10th Planet. Well, I'm an old kickboxer, tie boxer, and when I first came here, there wasn't a lot of stuff to play with that I was used to. So, I, was, I hooked up with um, uh, Fabio Santos' black belt here, and just kind of kept expanding my game. And the more I studied, the more I learned, the more I discovered that um, this is the next evolution in jiu-jitsu and this is the way it's going. I mean, the Japanese took 200 years to do what the Brazilians did in, did in, in 50 years and, and Eddie Bravo's done that in five years, so... Oh, come on. <laughs> so you got um, involved... Uh, with uh, John Botello is who certified you, right? John Botello is, is, is the man that came up and put us through our paces. We've been doing a lot of a lot of self-teaching, a lot of self-learning, doing it the hard way through the books, through the internet. And so we'd actually been working the system for a couple of years before we finally hooked up with you know one of your one of your main guys. So and it's just been awesome since then. Awesome, cool. Let's check out the channel. You got it. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, man? You woke up? Hey, it's too strong to get here. Anthony in the house? Actually, I'm not Anthony. I'm a twin brother. Nice. Where are you from, sir? Phoenix. Oh, you're from Phoenix. Okay. Oh, yeah, buddy. Were you at any of my seminars in the past? I went to the one in Riverside. Okay, okay, cool, cool. But none that I've that I taught in Phoenix. Not in Phoenix. Were you at the Einstein one? Uh, yeah, I was a dancer. Okay, okay, how was that? That was great, man. Is he a dick? Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> he's awesome, man. Love him. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in, this is kind of our uh, lobby. It's a work in progress. So, this is our lobby right here. It's a work in progress. I'm actually in the plans to put a few more TVs up, and we're going to actually start watching all the fights right here at the gym together as a team. Um, but other than that, Check this out. This is our cardio room. This is where we do our cardio kickboxing, all our, uh, you know, we even have Zumba. We do everything, but uh, right now we got our boxing guys training in here. Um, a little system bump in, got bags hanging. It's a pretty decent little room. All, we have Taekwondo for kids. They do all that right here in this room. Um, pretty nice little room. Full of girls most of the time. Come this way. Right here in the 
gonna show you our future fighters room. This is the uh, kids room right here that I built myself. It's a mat room for kids. Check it out. When the parents want to come, they throw their kids in here. We got it wall matted on the ground. And we let them beat each other up. The kids can sit here and watch cartoons all day. That's our gym logo right there, one of them. And so check it out. I got this wild idea and I heard about this chalkboard paint. So I got this paint and I painted black around here. It's chalkboard. We give the kids chalk and let them color and then I threw some little metal up on the wall. That's let the awesome. kids come in here and little play with their little numbers and letters and stuff. So we call it the future fighter room or right here. This is a little bag area this is where all our Muay Thai and our boxing classes take place. And uh, I know when there's no classes going on, it's open to anybody to train. And then right here is where we get down to spar. We got our little boxing ring. Custom made canvas with our logo on it. Pretty nice. cool, pretty cool, huh? Pretty key. Right this way. Keep it going guys, I'm watching you. And this is where the series Keep it going. Out here, out here is where we uh, do all of our MMA, our wrestling, our jiu-jitsu, where we train our fighters. This is where we get tough, right here on the map. This is where everything goes down. And, uh, where we, this is where I have the most fun. I love to be on the map. And then now, uh, we got a little cross pit going over here and a weight room right here. Everything you need to be elite. Nice. Dolly. Yeah. Worldwide. Gracie Veterano, old family first fan. Drop the wall to swing that double S sword and works fan. Yep. BJJ from GJJ Like who hurt gave birth to which the DJ plays But despite the lineage I would never be closed minded Never refuse to see beyond the lines You go blind Rocker travels the 10th planet I flow free I welcome on mini mats Need to know B Though my branch traces used to be original tree